Francisco Reyes lights up his basement, and the air is heavy with pride. Pointing off an enormous collection of his son's football boots, shirts, and photos, the 66-year-old can't resist guiding male sport in different directions. José Antonio Reyes is the main topic of this room, as well as the house in the municipality of Utrera, which lies outside of Seville. On June 1, 2019, the former Arsenal winger, 35, lost his life in a car accident in southern Spain when the car he and his 23-year-old cousin Jonathan were encapsized and caught fire. Juan Manuel Calderon, Reyes's other cousin, attempted to save them, but only managed to live with severe burns. There are still after-effects from that wreckage. Manager Mikel Arteta and other Arsenal employees paid a visit to a memorial area at Ramon Sanchez Pizuan Stadium in Sevilla on Monday. Later, in the Sevilla Museum, where Reyes has a memorial section, Arteta and Sevilla President José Castro paid flower tributes. Tuesday marks the first competitive match between Arsenal and Sevilla since Reyes's passing. According to his father of the teams the Spaniard played for, Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid, Benfica and Sevilla, Arsenal and Sevilla were the two he loved the most. Francisco tells Mail Sport he liked everything about Arsenal, while his mother Mariana proudly nods. Arsenal was Jose's and our family's second favorite club after Sevilla. There will be a lot of emotion throughout the game. We hope for a tie. Jose was asked by Atletico Madrid, Do you want to return to your home country? He would have stayed at Arsenal if they had not said that. Truly, the greatest coach was Arsena Wenger. Following his passing, he gave me a heartfelt speech. He claimed that everyone at the club was grieving a great loss. He used to refer to Edu and Robert Pires as brother, and they would do the same. When they went to Spain, Jose and Arteta used to sleep in the same room. They also resembled brothers. During his Monday pregame press conference, Arteta stated, We spent quite a bit of time together. I haven't seen a better player at that age. He played for both clubs, had it all, and is a significant figure in our history. He's presumably feeling proud of both clubs up there, pointing to the sky. He has a spectacular night planned for tomorrow. Every boot that Reyes wore during his career is neatly arranged against a wall in his home. There are dozens of shirts hanging, one of which was worn by Arsenal against Wagon in their final match at Highbury. For the family, this week has been significant. Last Tuesday, José Antonio Reyes Jr., the 16-year-old son of José, signed his first professional contract with Real Madrid. José would be so proud of him, remarks Francisco. Reyes began his career at CD Utrera before turning 10 and joining Sevilla. He joined the Gunners in January 2004 for £17 million, and he went on to become one of Europe's most promising players. In the Invincible season, he won the Premier League just four months later. With the Gunners, he made 69 appearances and scored 16 goals. Following stints at Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid and Benfica, he won three straight Europa League titles upon his return to his beloved Sevilla in 2012. His standing in the club is evident. The president of Sevilla, Castro, tells Mail Sport that Reyes was a special star for us, and because I watched him grow up in Utrera as a child and then as a football player, he was like a son to me. Without a doubt, his early passing has turned him into a myth and a symbol of Sevilla FC. The emotions linger in the streets of Utrera. In front of the neighborhood stadium is a statue of Jose that was unveiled in August. I was led to his brother Jesus, 43, by workers there. Jesus tells Mail Sport, The Arsenal match brings a complicated feeling. Too many emotions are present? He was such a wonderful individual. My heart continues to hurt. He used to tell me how amazing it was to be an Arsenal player. I will only be thinking about him.